the next morning came. Nothing had changed in my life. None of my circumstances had changed. There I was laying there on that air mattress and there was a mini blind in my living room and it had a crack in it. And this light, it was the sunlight, but it just came beaming through that window. And for the first time in my life, I had hope. I couldn't explain it. I didn't know what was going on. Now, this was over a series of about two months. The Lord started speaking to me, like God started speaking to me. I thought that I was losing my mind. I thought that I had taken too many pills and I had fried my brain because you've got to understand, I was never churched as a child. I had never heard about the gospel. Jackie, my assistant, was the only one who had ever shared Jesus with me. And I was 34 years old. How sad is that? So the Lord spoke to me and he told me, that I had to put the pills down. And so I wanted to be obedient and I went in and I flushed them down the, or no, I'm sorry, that was the second time. I was out at my father's grave because he had just died. And so I pitched the pills out and I was like, okay, Lord, I'll, I'll give the pills up for you. I'll, I'll do anything for you. And two days later, when I began to detox, I am out in that graveyard, crawling on my hands and knees, looking for pills. I took the pills for about another week, and each time that I would take them, conviction would come over me, and I would cry. I would be high, and I would be crying, saying, Lord, why do I keep doing this? Why can't I get away from this? And he said, because you tried to do it in your will and not mine. You're using your effort and not mine. Now ask me for help. And so I asked the Lord for his help. And the little bit of pills that I had left, I went in and I flushed them down the toilet. And that is when my journey began. For three days, I laid on the couch. I didn't take a shower. I didn't do anything. I was in complete agony. The sweating, the pain, my kids are watching this. They're, they're seeing me go through this. And on the third night, I was so desperate and I was in so much pain. And I just, I cried out to Jesus and I said, Jesus, heal my broken body. And at that moment, that is when I encountered Jesus. I describe it as the blanket of peace. It started from the tip of my toes and it worked itself all the way up my body. And when it got to my neck, just peace coming up my body, the pain going away, coming up my body. And when it got to my neck, I was able to just, I remember I just, my head just like fell over because I was so exha exhausted from the pain. That was at three o'clock that morning. I woke up at 7 a.m. the next morning and I was completely delivered. I remember getting up and being able to take my children to school. I hadn't been able to move in three days. It, it, was, it was wild what was happening. Now, if you are an addict, if you have ever been an addict, you know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to get clean, you count the hours down. Uh, I've went an hour without a pill. I've went 10 hours without a pill. You, you count those hours down. That next day, I sat and I counted the hours of, my God, I'm normal. Like, I'm, I'm not craving a pill. What is wrong with me? What, what is going on here? I was so confused. That has been since March of 2012. I have been clean. I have never, ever thought about getting high again. So when people ask me, why do you serve God the way you do? That is why. 
and God saved my life. There's so much more that he did, but we've only got about 10 minutes for this video. He literally reached down from the pits of hell and pulled me out. So why wouldn't I give him my very best? Because he gave his very best for you and for me, his son Jesus. Why would I want to try to live a sloppy life and call it grace? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I did not want to make this video. I, I did not want to put it on TikTok, but I just felt led to do it. I felt like God wanted me to do it, and I always want to be obedient. So, if you are watching this, if you are struggling with addiction, if you are, if you just need prayer, I want you to message me. And when I say that I will pray for you, I mean that I am going to pray for you. I'm not just going to say it in words. So if you're struggling with addiction, I want you to message me. I want to pray for you. I want to see the chains be broken off of your life just like they were mine.